Hey yo everybody, Haku finally here with my read through for The Promised Neverland chapters 173, 174, and 175, at least that's what I'm shooting for. Uh, we last left off a long time ago with Emma hitting the ultimate talk no jutsu um, on Rotri, but it seems like, well, I mean, things are definitely winding down now that the series has ended and I have nine chapters to read. Um, so, yeah, I have nine chapters to read. I'm going to try to split them into three videos of three chapters each, but some of the last few might get kind of long. I don't know, so we'll see. But yeah, I am excited to finish this series. Honestly, I didn't even have time to record this today. I've already done, like, five other videos today. Um, but I just, I've been putting it off and putting it off because I've been like, oh, I want to read, but I'm too busy. I want to read, but I'm too busy. And then finally today, I'm just like, screw it. We're reading. I'm too busy, but we're reading anyway. Uh, so yeah, let's do 173, 174, and 175. Let's see how the series ends. Now, before I get into it, I will say, since it's been a while since I did these videos, my thoughts are like... Well, first off, thank you to everybody who's been, like, reading through this whole series with me. I've read through from the very beginning, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, thank you to everybody who's been with me on this journey. But uh, I'm thinking the first few arcs were so good. The, f the, like, beginning first arc that the anime went through was incredible. The stuff in the forest was pretty good. And then we got to Goldie Pond, which was incredible again. And the stuff after Goldie Pond with Andrew Rotry was really sad and really, really good, too. Uh, the stuff all leading up to meeting Norman's group and all that was really good. And then there was the invasion of the capital, which wasn't great. And then after the invasion of the capital, it got pretty good again. It sort of picked itself back up. Um, so yeah, that's where we've been since then. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to see how it ends. We only have a few chapters left, so let's get into 173. All right. And it looks like a child Peter Rotary. Um, chapter one, at least I think, pretty sure that's Peter Rotry. Again, I always got confused about which was which, and I guess that's him with William Minerva, maybe. Um, chapter 173, Prisoners. All right, protect the world. That was the honorable, noble, and most important mission of the Rotry clan for generations. To me, the clan was my pride, joy, and light, and the leader, my older brother, was my biggest hero. All right. I don't know. He was so terrible, though, that I don't know if a sad backstory is going to get me to like him. He was kind, smart, handsome, sincere, and refined. And I respected him more than my father, mother, or any great person from any era or country. I loved him more than anything in the world. I believed that I was to support him for the rest of my life, and that I was born to do so. Brother? If only he hadn't found that document. Julius betrayed his comrades to enter the promise. The children are descendants of his allies, not the rogues who were against peace and wanted to continue the war. And even the citizens who were left behind were turned into food. I'm sorry, but even if they were the descendants of his allies, that's like, you're still just letting random people be born to be harvested and farmed as food. An, an old confession, a document that was hidden for several hundred years, the regrets of the first leader, Julius. It was the truth of how the clan came to be, the complete opposite of the heroic tale that we were taught. How could he have done such a thing? My brother changed that day. We must protect the two worlds, but what of the children? A hesitation and guilt arose in him, but I didn't understand. In fact, I thought, how wonderful. Julius didn't do anything wrong. We're the clan that protects the world. He pushed aside personal feelings to save the world. It was a wise decision. He protected the world, even if it meant betraying his comrades. That what, er, that is what makes a hero, a clan that carries out a noble mission. This is wonderful. This is how we should be. A noble mission. I've always thought of it that way, too. But we were wrong. This is punishment. As well as a curse, Peter. Why? No, brother. Stop. Don't go. Don't put the world in danger. And we see all the William Minerva stuff. You're wrong. Our clan is correct. The children are necessary sacrifices for this world. I have to stop him. What now? What do I do? What do I, Aratri, do? 
I, er, I'll also protect the world, just like Julius. My brother is a traitor. Eliminate him. And the body? We found him. What was he like at the end? He was smiling. He told us to tell you I'm sorry. Brother, I promise I'll carry out the mission for your sake, too. I don't know. I still don't like him. No matter how much it hurts, no matter how warped the world may be. Like, I understand him. Don't get me wrong. I understand why he did what he did. Still think he's a complete asshole, though. Let's be free. I was burdened. I was a prisoner all this time by the fate of being this, in this clan. No, it's a noble mission. We're an honorable clan. This mission isn't punishment, and in no way is it a curse. And I love this, how he's chained up but can't see it. You and your descendants are caught in the whirl of destiny. No, I did the right thing. I protected the mission and the world, even if it meant killing the brother I loved. But it was a curse. Punishment? No, no, it's a lie. What our clan did for 1,000 years isn't meaningless. I'm sorry. Sorry, Peter, to make you carry the burden. Let's change. Let's end the thousand years of suffering now. Was my brother fighting back against his destiny? Did he want to be free? I'm sorry. Did he want to free me? Let's live together, Peter Rotry. And he smiles. You should just kill me, but you say you want to live together. Fools. That's why you were meant to be eaten. Actually, the demons aren't so bad. What they've been doing to you are things the humans have done to each other since long ago. And we see, man, yeah, people being burnt at the stake, led into prison camps, and, you know, much worse. All of this. Yes, even though humans don't eat humans. Go wherever you want, do whatever you er, want. You kids win, but remember this one thing. The human world isn't any different. Because they're a mirror of humanity. Oh my god, I got chills. I love this panel behind Emma. With the demons mirroring the humans. Code solid. You can pass that on to my uncle. Try it if you can. I'm looking forward to seeing how far you can go in the human world. And he pulls a knife. Sorry, but I can't go with you, kids. I'll enjoy the new world from the depths of hell. Farewell. Peter. And, it, and we see him hold the knife up to his throat, and we see blood. But I don't know if Emma's going to save him on some we can save everyone stuff. That was a really, really good chapter, though. It, I love it. Because I still got to think that Peter Rotry was a villain, a real, actual, legit, asshole villain to the very end. But I also understood him. He's terrible, he's wrong, but in a way he's kind of right. With how, go anywhere you want, do whatever you want, go to the human world, you're still not free there. Um, like, it's not the same as being farmed and eaten by demons, obviously, but... Like, he has a point. So I like that. I like that he's still a villain. He's still evil, but he has a point. I like it a lot. So yeah, let's go on to uh, 174 here. Alright, loading up the next chapter. Um, hold on. Alright, hopefully this doesn't lag my recording too much or anything loading up the next chapter. Oh god, I hear my computer's fan just going off, though. Um, Alright. Let's live together. Fools. And this one's titled A New World Part 1. Chapter 174. Let's live together. Fools. A position in life isn't something one can easily throw away. I choose to die here as a Rotri. And it looks like he actually succeeded in doing it. We see Emma and Ray through his eyes as he's bleeding out. Zack and Gillian are there. Looks like Nigel as well. Alright. Why are you trying to save me? Why do you look... Er, why do you at me look like that? Why do you look at me like that, I suppose it means. If you were born in Gracefield, could we have been friends? And we see... This alternate version, little him with everybody else. We need to see more of the Gracefield kids that we haven't seen in a while, to be honest. 
All right. And then, of course not. Never. Don't bother. I'm done. The new world you're about to create is too bright for me. I'm. And he sees insert name here. I was able to enjoy this for longer than I expected. Well done for 1,000 years. And his hand collapses down. And that's it. The human world isn't any different. Try it if you can. And Emma brushes the tears from her eyes. Watch us. We'll find it for sure. A life where we can live happily with our family. So, Emma and all of you, what do you plan to do now? Says Isabella. We're going to retreat for now. There's still the 2,000 Imperial soldiers, and we have other stuff we need to do. But I'm glad, because I wanted to talk to you once we got to Gracefield. Let's go to the human world. Once everything is over, you should come with us. Oh, I got chills again. I want all the children to go to the human world. All means the children who grew up, too. I've already made the promise with insert name here. I still love that I've called him insert name here this whole time for it to be that way. Of course, that's only if you want to. I wonder what other people who have read this series, like for YouTube and stuff, have called him. Or like what any of you, just in general, have called him. I've, Or if, if you've just ignored it and been like, ah, eh, just squiggly letters. I've just called him insert name here this whole time. Of course, that's only if you want to. Once everything's done and the promise is implemented, Mom, the sisters, the adults, and children of the other farms, we can all go to the human world. You're going to forgive us after what we did? Well, but we'll stay here. We appreciate your offer, but we are... Get over it already. Thank you, Ray. You were sick of this, right? If you have regrets, take care of them in the human world. I'm glad I'm alive. It's, er, it's because I'm alive that I can atone for my sins and clear my conscience. It's fine. No one will resent anyone. We're not holding grudges. Alright. Sorry, my lighting looks like it's gotten really, really dark. Either way, hopefully it's fine. So let's go. All of you, with us. Yeah, let's go, let's go, say all the littler kids. Come on, Mom. Ah, oh, says uh, Gilda. We see everyone's smiling faces. Mom, Mom, and all the kids are running to her. It should have been so painful. You must have been so shocked. You were betrayed by your mother in a most horrific way. Even now you're all trembling. But why? How could you forgive me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been sorry. For so long. Oh, man. For so long. And Isabel cries. I'm sorry. And thank you, everyone. Oh, gosh. Could have me crying in a video. Jeez. Oh, I don't think I've... I don't know if I've ever, like, really, really cried in a video. Uh, maybe Magical Girl Raising Project. But, damn, I usually can hold it in pretty well. Especially the end of Restart. The end of Restart got me so much. Oh, jeez. Then it settled. Just a little longer. Once we finish everything, we'll come back here. Until then, Gracefield will continue to operate, but we'll be waiting. Oh, and I really hope this recording didn't mess up or anything, if this is such an emotional reaction. Oof. Oof. Sorry, just trying to get through this. Um, we'll continue to operate, but we'll be waiting. Don't worry. The demons and the Rotary Clan servants don't know about our betrayal yet. We'll handle it. Leave Gracefield to us, and we'll take care of Phil and the others. And we'll take care of the demons, too. Alright, let me get a sip of water really quick. Okay. I want to release all of the children. I want to get rid of all of the farms and create a world where no children are eaten. We can reach it. It's so close now. I just need them to save Sungju and Musica. Be careful. They're like two of my absolute favorite characters. Yeah, we'll be back soon. Okay, we're going. Uh, Cicero. Or, the official translation is always called him Cislo, it says. Um, Cicero, I'm still sticking with Cicero, though, because I like that so much more. That's such a better translation. Uh, Cicero, we're going to evacuate. Is everything okay on that side? Boss? Everything's fine, or it was, but... Well, I don't really understand. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, uh, what's his face? Lewis had already kind of saved Sungju. 
the Imperial soldiers are on the move. They're all leaving and heading toward the outer bridge. That's not good. Reinforcements, they're gonna attack us. We should run now. Wait, look at this. Notice. A message from the Imperial capital to all citizens, and then Emma reacts. Huh? Oh, well, I'm glad we don't have to wait and I can just go straight into this next one. This really came out in April? It's been that long since I've done videos on The Promised Neverland? What on earth? If that came out in April, though, and it just kind of ended really recently as to, like, when I'm recording this, like, it must have taken a while to get to these last six chapters, so I'm, or these last nine chapters, so I'm glad I get to marathon them and I don't have to wait. Oh, it's gonna suck between ending after this chapter and having to wait to record the next three, though. I might just marathon this. You might be getting these last nine chapters, like, all pretty back-to-back. Alright, the Imperial Capital. Tell all citizens. The current administration has been dismantled. The leaders, the vassal, or the vassal armies of the five region houses, and those managing the four great farms shall be arrested immediately. I promise to distribute the evil blood to all citizens, and promise that no one will suffer from hunger or degeneration ever again. Jeez. And one more thing? We'll take this opportunity to abolish all farms. Lewis, what are you doing? What the hell? A New World, Part 2, Chapter 175. What? Abolish the farms, all of them, but does that mean that we wouldn't be able to eat humans anymore? Exactly. But why? This was decided in the promise 1,000 years ago. That we'll segregate our worlds and we won't hunt each other, but we continued to eat humans despite it. That's where everything got distorted. Farms shouldn't exist. Because of them, this reign continued. They held control over you by how they distributed human meat, manipulating your lives and intelligence. That's true. Hey, if we can have the evil blood, we don't need to eat humans. Yeah, we were afraid that we'd degenerate if we didn't eat humans until now, but... But it's human meat. If it were other meat... Yeah, I want to eat human meat. Human meat is special. If we allow the farms to exist, we may be able to eat human meat, but someone could use the farms to control us again. I don't want that. Me neither. It's more natural to have no farms. I guess it's okay. It's only human meat. Damn it. We will finally be free. I, I'm wondering if he's going to say to hunt the humans again. We won't repeat the same mistakes and tragedy ever again. Yes, your highness, let's get rid of the farms. We don't need farms. Let's change. Abolish the farms. Hooray for the new era. Long live King Lewis. And we see uh, the kids tearing up. And those poor kids, their parents ended up dying in the end anyway, didn't they? Damn. No, I'm not going to become king. Are we going to get Sungju or Musica? Huh? And they look surprised. What? But why, your highness? I'm part of the old system. I'm also guilty of looking the other way during the old administration's reign. Besides, I died at that hunting ground. My core was destroyed, then I was dead for sure. I never thought I'd revive. I had no idea that I also had two cores. I lost to humans. That's why I'd resolved to decay in an unknown village. I heard the queen passed away. Sheesh. I'm not worthy of becoming king. What the world need, or what the new world needs, is a new monarch. I believe Musica is fit to be that monarch. Huh? Musica? What, me? Why? I agree that Musica is the most worthy to rule. Your Excellency, and it's the sage guy from before, you're safe. Musica's always acted selflessly for the citizens, saving them many times. She is the most deserving. The Temple and Sungju will do our best to support you. Will you become the new Queen Musica? Be our queen. And the kids are smiling. Yes, please, rule over us, Musica. Our world will be secure under you. Yeah, that's right. That'll make, er, that'll truly make it a new era. Wait, nothing will have changed like that. Was only Legravalima to blame? Is the previous ruler the only one accountable? No, you citizens were responsible for letting her rule. You left everything to the queen. That was how they manipulated you. Just as even now, moments ago, you were chanting to kill the evil-blooded. Not only the ruler, but all citizens must think and act. 
the new world will be created and protected by everyone. See, I like that. I like that it's just not as simple as, okay, we're all just going to listen to Musica. It's the citizens were at fault, too, for not rebelling against such a corrupt system. And so the only thing now is that everyone needs to create the new system. Everyone will create and protect. We will, with our own hands. We'll support you, too, Your Majesty. Yes, Your Majesty Musica. Queen Musica. The world is changing right now. For real. Will I really be able to become queen? And Sungju smiles. No, I must. I will. Along with Emma, we'll create a new world. And they crown Musica, our new queen. Long live the queen. And we see the shocked faces from, um, what is that, Vincent, uh, Ray and Norman. Musica, she was alive. But wait, she's the queen. Why, what's going on? But that's good, the evil blood will be shared. It's, er, it's going according to our original plan. The demons won't have to be annihilated. No, but not just that. The farms will be abolished. The farms will no longer exist. I love Emma's face and then showing Isabella. And we have... I think that's supposed to be Crone for that panel. And then... Um, oh, I forget his name. The one that uh, Isabella loved. I don't remember that kid's name from her flashback. I should. It was like Stacy or something like that. It was like a feminine name. Something like that. All children raised as food will be free. And we have this huge spread of all of them celebrating. Emery and Norman, Gillian, all the Goldie Pond kids, all the uh, sisters back there. Isabella, Gilda, and Anna. Oh, I love it, the Gilda and Anna energy. We aren't children to be eaten anymore. No one's going to pursue us. We're free. That means... And we have a bell ringing. Phil, we finally get to see him again. Finally. After all this time, it took until the end of the damned series. But we get to see Phil. Huh? I'm home, Phil. And he tears up. Oh, she did it. Emma did it. Oh, we have six more chapters, though. Okay, so thinking about these next six chapters... Jeez, I read through those really quickly. It's only been, like, 23 minutes. Jeez, I still... I'm, like, kind of teared up right now. Hopefully the lighting will be better. I'll try to fix something. I have, like, three lights in front of me, though. So I don't know what's up. I don't know why it looks so dark. Maybe it's something with my camera settings, but uh, I'll figure that out before I record next. I'm going to have to record the next three tomorrow or something. I want to record them right now, but I just don't think I have enough, like, space to hold all the footage. All right. Okay, so some theories. Please do not spoil. Actually, if I record the rest of this, if I record, like, two videos tomorrow, I might just not read comments until I'm done recording everything. Um, some theories or some predictions or some things I kind of hope. I think things have gone really well. And I love how well things have gone. I love the music as the new queen. Society needs to pull itself up. It's not all just on her. Um, Emma saving everyone, but not saving Peter Rotry. His ending was good. Um, I'm excited to see the human world. How going there is even going to work. I actually think it would be cool if they decided, let's live alongside the demons in the demon world. Maybe that's what they'll do. Maybe they'll see the human world and be like, oh, nope. Because we, oh, we already know coronavirus is canon in the Promised Neverland. It's canon. So, um, I guess, I guess uh, maybe they'll see the human world be like, nope, F that, and go back to live in peace with Musica and Sungju and the demons. Oh, that's hilarious. So yeah, I, I'm excited for this reunion where it goes, but my point was things have gone so well that I, I hate that I'm saying this, I kind of hope Norman's group dies. I'm going to say that because I just think it would be really impactful and have some real weight to the series if they weren't able to use Adam to find a cure in time and things just didn't work out that way. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm, kind of what I would like. 
probably not what I'm going to get. It's probably just going to be everyone lives happily ever after. Nothing bad ever happens the end. Uh, but there are six more chapters. That's kind of a lot. So we'll see. We'll see when I re record the rest of this tomorrow. I might not even post this by the time I go to record more of it. Um, so yeah. Please no spoilers though, just in case. Please no spoilers. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this read through. Uh, tell me what you thought of uh, my first thoughts and reaction, or what your thoughts were on these three chat er, chapters. Again, no spoilers. Uh, if you want to link to the Discord server, asking, I'll give you one. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can. Um, if you want to throw in some suggestions for new series for when the Promised Neverland is done, feel free to. I'm going to be doing new series eventually once I'm caught up on all the series I'm behind on. Um, and if you want to help support the channel on Patreon to help me keep making videos like this, it's patreon.com slash aqua of the tubes, or a link will be in the description. But either way, that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.